Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteline Reviewer, and I'm here to review Smallfoot. I was planning on seeing this two weeks ago, car trouble happened, so I finally got around to it this Saturday. And I didn't have high hopes for this, but I'm a big fan of WAG, Warner Animation Group, because of Lego movies. And Storks, for some reason, the four times I've watched it already, I laughed so hard watching that film, so I was pretty excited about this. And, to be warned, this is an actual, like, animated musical. Wasn't so old on that from the trailer, but then I did hear about it before I saw it. This is written and directed by Carrie Kirkpatrick, and it's a fun film. It's fine. It has some nice things to say. It has kid pacing. It's zooming through the whole film. It has those musical numbers that are, like, really, like, bouncy, like, super obnoxiously sweet and stuff like that. It's definitely not, like, Disney musical where it's, like, has... It's fun, it's exciting, but like the music doesn't feel like it has a whole lot of level of depth to it. It's just kind of there. It's fun, it's goofy. There's one particular song from Common that I liked that was a little... It was different than the rest of the music. It was actually him rapping a little bit. And in terms of this film, it has a lot to say in terms of being who you are and not understanding others and where they're coming from and why you might fear other people and also take some digs at religion which is very interesting but like it all kind of is either on the nose or gets lost a little bit in all the goofy funness and the character designs are interesting the animation is fun and goofy in terms of the characters everybody really has like where they're coming like their their character a little bit and Chang Tatum does a nice job as our main character in this film, and he's fun, he does a nice little performance, Zendaya does the same with her Yeti character, and then like James Corden does his James Corden thing as a human in this film, and in terms of like the story, it's not super memorable, and it doesn't, to me it really didn't hit emotionally, it was just like a goofy fun movie, and in terms of like the story, there's not a whole lot of depth in most of the characters. Some of them get a little depth and have a little bit of places to go in terms of their arcs in the film. And there were some actually in pretty intriguing things for me, at least, that worked for me in terms of story and, like, this conspiracy and, like, some of the twists in the story. I'm like, huh, okay, you're trying a little bit. You're getting my attention. Because I guess the big thing I could say about this film is that it was fine. It was fun, and I'm sure kids will like it. I wasn't really wowed by it. I laughed, I chuckled a couple of times, but this wasn't like super engaging to me as an adult viewer. And not every kid's film is, but I would hope we're at the point where it's like, you can make things that hit for everybody on some level. And this was a little lacking for me. And this is coming from almost 27 year old man. So, Take it what you want, take what you will, take what <clears throat> I say with a grain of salt. But Smallfoot was a fun, enjoyable, goofy film. It has some lighthearted music, it has some fun vocal performances from a wide range of people Channing Tatum, LeBron James, Commons, and Daya. <clears throat> Danny DeVito is in this, and a whole bunch of other people. And it is what it is, it's probably exactly what you expected. If you want to go have a little fun with some of your kids and stuff like that, go check this out. And thank you as always for supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.